This is your opportunity to ride along on a recent tool delivery by Mr. Manhole Crew to the sunny beaches of Gulf Breeze, Florida. We delivered the tools to Utility Service Company in Gulf Breeze. We mounted the unit on their ASV RC100 skid steer at the job site. We're using the tools in a slightly different manner this time. They do a lot of uh, manhole exposure and rebuilding in new streets. So we've modified the tools to work in their application. The method they use down there in, uh, in a lot of places is they'll put a steel plate over the cone and then they put the road base and the asphalt as if the manhole doesn't exist and then they go back with air hammers and they expose that steel plate and build the chimney section to grade. It's very labor intensive. So what we've done is provided them with a round steel plate with the key shaped hole and those locator slots to keep it over the cone. As you know, the end of our cutter shaft has a key on it. As you're looking at, that's the lifting device that ships with the cutter unit. And that goes through that key shaped hole in that plate. So we've got a way to locate that center. And then we take this auger, which snap fits right up on the end of our cutter shaft. It just slides and twists just takes a second to put it on that key shaped end and then we drill into the road right over the key shaped hole in that round plate with that auger cuts right through the asphalt this takes a couple minutes and then once we find that hole in the center Expose that, then we snap that auger off of the end of that shaft and insert the cutter shaft through the hole in that steel plate. And then we drill. And our teeth are cutting just outside the dimensions of that steel plate. So when we pick up after the cut, we've got everything. It's like a sandwich. We pick all that material up out of there and they're ready to rebuild. So now you see them augering through the asphalt. I think the plate was down 14 inches, roughly, 12 to 14 inches. So now that we're augered in, we're going to shovel out that loose material, find that hole, as you can see there's very little handwork. Once you're through the hole, now you begin the cut. Now I'm letting this cut run unedited, I think it took four minutes roughly so I'm just going to let this cut run from start to finish so you can see this is the first time it's been ran on this machine I know the purchaser was a little concerned that it would cut through the asphalt I guess they've got some fairly hard aggregate down there uh, Thought maybe there might be a problem cutting that, but uh, he was well pleased with the results. Remember, this operation replaces a couple guys on jackhammers, air hammers, trying to find this plate, find the edges of it, cut a hole that it will come out of.
We do have a debris containment system, which is a polyethylene ring that goes around this cut, and it will keep all that material from scattering out on the road. We chose not to use it here so they could see the tool work. This is the first time they've seen it work. So we wanted them to be able to see the operation. The containment system, it impedes your view of the, the teeth actually working. At this point, he's through the asphalt and he's just cutting the stones just to loosen the stones. So when he pulls out, it'll come out nice and clean. There's a shot of the new road. Now we're making sure we have the proper orientation of the shaft so we're not lined up with the key shaped hole in the steel plate so we can pick this up. There's been about four minutes elapsed since we started this operation at this point. You can see the labor savings. I might mention that it's over 100 degrees on this day. The asphalt was very hot. But we're still able to make a nice clean cut. Pull this cookie out of the road. And we're ready for the rebuild. And then the crew there at Utility Service Company did a complete rebuild on a couple of manholes the same afternoon using the Mr. Manhole tools. They were able to do these repairs by themselves. We're just coaching. This is the finished product. Perfectly level with the road.